Hello, this is Elfie Wolfie's Engineering Guides for Space Engineers. This one will be covering wind turbines which will be introduced in 1.189 patch. A wind turbine generates power when it's on a static grid. It will also generate power if it's on a subgrid that is directly connected by a landing gear that's locked to either a static grid or a box hole. So, I've set up some stuff to show you how this works. So, behind me we have two small vehicles with a large grid on it. The one on the far end, it's landing gear locked to the bottom and it's generating about 1.2 megawatts of power. This one, oh, there's no power because the landing gear is not locked. Come on. Now, once I lock the landing gear, the wind turbines will start kicking in. This is a little bit modern configuration. I can generate about 1.4 to 1.6. It's just testing it out. So, that's how to do it in small grids. Now, on the big grids, we can do the same trick. Here's a landing gear, and there's a pillar that goes all the way up through the vehicle to this nice big tree. So, let's lock the landing gear. We lock the landing gear, and now the tree starts generating power. And there it is. But, oh look, this little tiny wind turbine on the main body doesn't work, and there's a lot of space on this main body. Oh, well, there is a way to get it to work. So, we have this one over here. You have a landing gear in the bottom, and it's set to go down the exact same distance as the stabilizer, so if I lift this whole thing up off of its wheels, it'll still be down there. And instead, what it is is the pillar comes up here, to this landing gear, and then the tree itself is on the main body along with that little wind turbine over there. So we lock both the top and the bottom landing gear, so that pillar is now static. Well, it's treated as static. This landing gear now makes this whole main body treated as a static grid for wind turbine. So now the tree, the wind turbine here, a wind turbine anywhere on this main body will now work. And that is how to use wind turbines with moving objects. Now, admittedly, as soon as you unlock the landing gear, the wind turbines will turn off. So you can only use this to recharge your batteries when you're stopped. But for like huge mobile industrial bases, you're going to be stopped and locked. These little guys are just meant to generate power. You can store them on board of the batteries, and then you use the rear connector to connect it up to a base or something to generate power. And this connector may look a little weird with landing gear and stuff. It is actually licensed from Dawnstar. It's his trailer connection system. And that's a short summary how to use wind turbines on mobile objects. And another trick you can do. Hey, let's go run over here to this little guy. Is this is an air mobile base. And since it uses landing gears as its normal landing, all I had to do was just switch them to lock. And then you can slap wind turbines all over this. But when it flies, the wind turbines don't work, so I have lots of battery storage. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day.